Hi, welcome to my build of a 16 inch wingspan Das Ugly Stick. Um, in the previous episode, I got the wings, or the basic structure of the wings finished, and I got them to sit on the fuselage nice and square with the correct angle of incidence, or what I kind of deemed to be the correct angle of incidence as the information wasn't on the plan. In this video now, I'm going to make a locking mechanism to lock the front of the wings into the fuselage and bolt them at the back. Um, on a previous uh, video, I discussed how on the plans, uh, there's just a couple of dowels and elastic bands, which I'm not a great fan of, and I wanted to make something just a little bit more secure and just looked a little bit more sleek and streamlined. So that's going to be the first job to get that mechanism sorted out and to get that central section finished, central section of the wings, uh, with the locking mechanisms. I then need to move on to the, um, uh, the wing tips. Earlier in one of the previous uh, videos about this build, um, I was discussing uh, the wing tips and the, uh, how that was sort of went together. Um, I wasn't totally sure um, looking at the plans um, but the, it shows the ailerons essentially coming right to the very tip of the wings um, and this wing tip here falling short of that. I've since read online and seen a couple of comments with, with people who have built Das Ugly Sticks that if you take out the ailerons right to the very end it suffers with uh, flutter, vibration um, and looking at some of the more recent kits that have come out from some of the big manufacturers they've actually carried on the the wingtip right down to this back trailing edge and they've cut the aileron short. Um, I think I'm going to do that I think um, I'm just I mean I have cut the ailerons out already but I'm going to just trim them short and I'm going to make this a little bit longer but we'll see how that goes um, during the construction um, in this next part of the video and uh, we'll get that wing finished and then we can move on to, uh, to having a look at finishing the, the fuselage itself. Um, so now I've got this square level sitting nicely, I'm happy with that. The next thing to do is to think about how I'm going to lock in the, um, the aeroplane uh, wings onto the fuselage. Uh, I think at the back here, I'm going to be putting in a piece of hardwood across there and just bolt down. I've got some nylon 6mm bolts, I think, maybe 5mm bolts, um, and I'll bolt those into to blocks on the fuselage sides, and I'll reinforce that a little bit as well. At the front, a little bit more complicated. Um, I could bolt it, but I, I really don't want the, the bolts or, or holes on the front. Um, so what I've done these are a bit rough yet, but I've made up a couple of pieces of um, plywood. This is 6 mil ply. And I'm going to, let's see how I can show this. I'm going to put these on the underside, like that. Just, it's not the best way, maybe if I turn that over. Okay. Um, Near the camera, so I can I can. Oh, let's. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to put those on the inside there, um, and they will be at an angle like that. They mimic the shape of the ribs, um, and then come, or, or at least from this point here, they come out straight. And this is going to lock into the fuselage former cross former here. But what I'm going to do, this is just 6 mil bolts at the moment, which obviously isn't strong enough. I'm either going to um, reinforce that with a bit of plywood, either side, uh, 3 mil, or I may even just make a small aluminium um, T-bar or something like that. I, I need to think about that, so I'm still working on that. Um, so, uh, that, once those are in, I'll epoxy those in. Um, I'll put in this central rib here and probably just cross brace it as well. Um, I just want to make sure that's strong enough. I mean, they, these are possibly overkill having two big pieces like this. Um, but, I don't know, they're about 20 grams. I, I weighed them earlier, 25 grams. Uh, and they weren't hugely heavy. 
Um, so I, I just I just really don't want to go through all this building this and then have the wings peel off in flight. And one of the things I've done, one of the things I've done rather than just putting it on this bottom edge, I've brought this format right up to the top here. So it's actually holding. Uh, being held by a, a substantial part of the wing. If I had just a single piece coming along the bottom um, of the rib, it wouldn't be very strong and it might just peel off that bottom of the rib. So at least this has a really good hold on that whole section of rib there. And I've put a dog tooth on the back, is that what we call it, or a peg, and that's going to slot into uh, where the um, uh, the uh, the brace, the cross brace. So just trying to make this as, as strong as possible really. Right, well I've now finished the front attachment um, of the wings and as I was um, uh, talking earlier I've, I've attached these plywood formers uh, to the inside of these uh, these two ribs that are over the top of the fuselage sides, I put in the central rib. The central rib I've actually trimmed down uh, compared to these two ribs as I'm planning to put some sheeting on. So I'm going to just sheet that front section um, either side like that. I've also put in a, a little bit of balsa there um, just for the, the sheeting to sit onto. And you can see the plywood juts out the front uh, which will lock into the, uh, the front of the, uh, one of the formers on the fuselage. Um, on the underside, uh, just make sure I get this right, uh, I've also put a bit of balsa here and again that is going to be sheeted that whole section there. Now the, on the fuselage itself, uh, these, uh, these two pegs here Plug into the, um, the former F2 and um, you can see there's just a couple of holes here where they plug in. 5mm balsa, uh, sorry, 5mm ply former over, over the top of the 6mm uh, balsa to give it strength. I've cut out the central section just to try and give it a bit of uh, lightness uh, or to lighten it up a little bit. And, um, and that fits in very securely. I'm very pleased with that. It uh, plugs in nice and solid um, and uh, it's, uh, it's not going anywhere. So I'm, I'm pleased with that and hopefully, um, a little bit of overkill maybe, but hopefully the, the wings are going to be nice and secure now and not peel off. Um, the next job I'm going to do is the rear where I'm going to... Um, originally I talked about possibly putting a piece of balsa in here. Uh, sorry, a piece of wood in here to bolt through and into a piece of wood at the bottom. But I'm actually going to bolt through these trailing edges. I'm going to put on a couple of bits of plywood on the back here. Um, the width of this trailing edge sheeting and the width of the, um, the fuselage. And I'm going to, just to strengthen it, plywood, 3 mil, and then I will bolt down through that and I will be attaching into um, some captive nuts I'll just move this and alter the camera for the attachment at the rear of the wings I'm going to be strengthening this area back here um, this is uh, F4 where the wings just the trailing edge of the wings just sits on top of here and I'm going to take some bolts with captive nuts um, through the back of the wings and onto an attachment here. Um, initially I've made up um, uh, a 3 mil plywood um, strengthener which is going to go onto that quarter inch balsa. Um, I've also done some triangular stock down the bottom just for a bit of overkill and then along the back edge of this I'm going to be putting um, a piece of hardwood that the um, bolts are going to go through into with a captive nut on the back. Now to give that a little bit of strength so this doesn't peel off um, 
I've made up some uh, side pieces, some side locking pieces, which will just fit over the, uh, the hardwood like that there on the sides. And just to give that a little bit more strength, because this is a, a weak point just here, I'm putting an extra piece of plywood on the top there, just to give that strength. I'll do that both sides, and that should be well strong and, and not cause a problem. And then, I, as I said, I can just bolt down through to there with the captive nuts on the bottom of that hardwood. I've just finished this rear attachment for the, uh, for the wing, uh, the trailing edge of the wing. And as we saw earlier, I've gone down into some, some captive nuts on the bottom of the hardwood. And just to strengthen this here, I put on a piece of three mil um, plywood which I chamfered the edges so that sort of smooths in a little bit. And because of the dihedral here um, I needed to do something to allow it to, uh, to, to sit down into that. Um, I didn't really want to put two separate pieces on so I cut halfway through the underside of this plywood and then that just bent quite nicely and, uh, and glued into position. So that should be fine and if we just have a quick look under there, uh, we can see that this is all glued and, and, and quite secure now. So that, that's proved to be quite a strong attachment I think. I've now finished the, the kind of the main uh, structure of the wings. Um, the only thing I've got additional to do now really is uh, a nice sanding finishing. But also I need to do the hinges for the ailerons and to put in the, uh, the servos and the mounts for the servos. Um, that I'm going to do as part of a separate video just because this will end up too long if I, if I include it on this video. Um, so I'm just going to talk through now what I've, I've, I've done to finish this off and, and, and then we'll call this, uh, this, this video to a close. Um, I've, I've done the sheeting as I said. Um, that just gives it a little bit more strength at the front, but also I quite like the idea of having somewhere to hold it when I'm, I'm moving the wing and carrying the wing uh, without worrying about these um, uh, spars here, which are probably quite, quite fragile really. Um, and I've done that top and bottom. Um, one of the things I did um, with the when sanding it, these um, the shear webbing, uh, I actually sanded the edge of those at 45 degrees um, all the way along. And the reason I did that is I didn't want to increase the kind of the footprint, if you like, on the top of the wing um, by having another, I think these were two and a half mil, um, added onto that spar. So I thought if I, I mean purely cosmetic, if I sand that down at an angle, then you've still retained just the width of that spar. Um, and it doesn't look quite as heavy, quite as clunky. So like I say, purely cosmetic, um, but I just thought it would give a, a nicer appearance. Um, I put in this, uh, this central rib here, um, and again, that's just giving a little bit of strength. I did think about um, sheeting this back here, but uh, it's probably not necessary. And I'll just show you what I've done with the wingtips. I'll just move the camera in a little bit closer. As I discussed earlier, I, I, I didn't want to take the, um, the ailerons right out to the end, so I've cut myself some new wingtips, um, extended those to the, uh, the length, um, the full length there, so it's created an aileron bay. When I put those on, they were quite, there was quite a bit of movement in them, quite a bit of wobble. And so I put in uh, the bracing, this uh, triangular, or well, not triangular, but these uh, braces here, uh, top and uh, bottom, give that a little bit more strength. Um, and also I put on some uh, two pieces of 6mm balsa, this uh, wingtip 6mm balsa, I put on this 6mm balsa with the grain running in the opposite direction, so running at, at, at uh, um, 90 degrees to, to this grain. And I've done that top and bottom, and I've actually sanded that in to the profile, so that follows the profile of this uh, trailing edge here, 
and then that follows um, an angle coming down to the wing tip. And the same here. Um, so I think, that, I mean, that's certainly really solid now. That's not um, going to move without some um, serious, <laughs> serious uh, effort. Um, so I'm quite, I'm quite pleased with that. I think that will be a, a, a nice, uh, a nice job. Um, I put the ball nose on the uh, on the square section on the nose uh, on the leading edge there, and um, essentially I'm going to call these finished now. Um, like I say, I've still got the very fine sanding to do, and I've I've got the aileron hinges and the um, uh, the servos to mount, but that will be uh, that will be my uh, my next job probably.